Hello friends, I am Swati. Today, I am going to discuss with you all how to find the mode of the grouped data. So, what is basically mode is that is the value having maximum frequency. So, to find out the mode, first of all, we have to see which is the maximum frequency here. So, from this, the maximum frequency is 12 and the class interval corresponding to this highest frequency is 60 to 80. So, this is called the modal class. The value the maximum frequency and corresponding to that frequency whatever is the class interval that we call it as model class so to find out the mode we have the formula that mode is equal to l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h so, we have to find all these parameters. So, first of all, L. L is the lower limit of the model class. We have already found out what is the model class, 60 to 80. So, the lower limit is 60. So, L here is 60. Now, we need to find F1, F0 and F2. F1 is the frequency of the model class. So, frequency of the model class is 12. So, we have got here F1 as 12. Now, F0. F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the model class. So, this is the model class and its frequency is 12. So, the frequency of the class preceding the model class. So, preceding is you have to go backward. So, that frequency is 10. So, here I have got F0 as 10. Now, I have got L, F1, F0, now F2. F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the model class. So, succeeding the model class is 8200. So, corresponding frequency is 6. So, I have got F2 as 6. Now, H. H is the width of the class interval. So, the width of the class interval is upper limit minus lower limit that is 20 minus 0 is 20 similarly here also I'm getting 20 so h is 20 now I have to substitute all the values in the formula and I have to get the mode so l here is 60 plus f1 is 12 f0 is 10 divided by 2 f1 so 2 f1 is 12 minus f0 is 10 f2 is 6 into 20. Now, 60 plus 12 minus 10 is 2 divided by 2 into 12 is 24 minus 16 into 20. So, 60 plus 2 divided by 24 minus 16 is 6. 24 minus 16 you will get here as 8 into 20. Now simplify it 2, 4 here you will get 5. So you will get here as 60 plus 5 that is 65. So this is how we can find out the mode. So first of all you have to see which is the maximum frequency. So corresponding to that class interval that will become your model class. So the formula for mode is L plus F1 minus F0 upon 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. So, we have to find all the parameters. L is the lower limit of the model class. So, that will be 60. Then F1 is the frequency of the model class. F0 is the frequency of the class pre preceding the model class. So, preceding the model class is 
40 to 60 so corresponding frequency is 10 so f0 will be 10 similarly f2 will be the frequency of the class succeeding the model class so succeeding the model class is 80 to 100 so corresponding frequency is 6 so f2 is 6 and h is the width of the class interval now i have to substitute all the values in the formula and i have get i have to get the answer so this is how we'll find the mode by this formula thank you everyone